I'm of Indian origin, um, but I was raised in the UK. So I've always been exposed to different religions, different cultures, um, and just different traditions. And me personally, I like um, I like the kind of uniqueness of other cultures, and I like to be able to go and be able to partake. Back at school, we used to go to church, we used to go to mosques, um, synagogues, temples. And it was a very kind of wide um, education that we got. Um, and I remember that Britain was famous for that. You know, it was, it was one of the things where you could come to London, you could be from any country in the world, and you'd be accepted. I, mean, I grew up in the East End, and that's back when we used to have skinheads. You know, we did get racism. We did have people throwing fireworks through our doors, lit fireworks, I might add. Um, but I also remember that it was the other um, English people around us who kind of got together, they reported it to the police, they put the evidence together, and I suppose that stuck in my mind that whilst there might be one or two people that might have prejudiced views, everybody else is not like that. And if you know anything about English people, they can be quite reserved, they won't always tell you what they're thinking, but you scratch beneath the surface, and a lot of it is just fear. It's not racism in the sense that they hate you because of who you are, but it's fear. You know, they don't want to lose their culture the same way Indians like me don't want to lose where we came from. You know, I want to create a society where nobody feels like, you know, they're a second class citizen or anything like that. And we like to take part in these kind of events because we believe um, about unity through diversity. That's our motto. Uh, we think that if you have enough people of different backgrounds kind of coming together, sooner or later people will realise we're all human beings. Our faith, our religion, that doesn't matter. My husband is of a, a different faith, but it doesn't stop us from being a family. It doesn't get in the way at all. And this is what we're trying to teach the Scouts, is that at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is your humanity.